tight, guys. So how's that? Does that look a bit like it? It's very similar to it, you know, from what I remember it's very like it really. So is it that far in or out a bit? Or? No, that's out too far. It was in. I couldn't see its two front legs, so I could just see half of its back. Okay. About that, yeah, that would be fine. That was about it. Okay, so you saw a strange animal when you were very young. Can you sort of describe the experience to me? So when I was about nine, we were living at Hampshire and my brother, who was four years younger than me, uh, we used to go along a track to meet with an old gentleman that used to bring us chocolates every week and so we went up to get them and on our way back to our house we came across this animal that was half in the bush and half out and it had, it was eating something, you could hear it crunching something and well, there was a noise anyway. It, you've got to remember this is a nine-year-old's memory. Yeah. But it, it's still very vivid to me because I was very frightened of it and it was had stripes on its back. And I can remember looking at it and it was all straight. And as I looked at it, I got my brother's hand and I decided to run. And as I did, it was backing out of the bush. And that's... And you was like running... And I, I ran in the opposite, sort of... A, in the opposite direction and around the corner a bit from it. Mm. Yeah. So you say it was eating, do you know what it was eating? Was it Wouldn't have a clue because it was half in the bush. Okay. I could just hear it munching on something. Okay, and it was a bit scary. That was scary to me, yeah, at that time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was about it. What about height? Well, to me it looked about that size. About that the size? size of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so it's about the right size. Yeah, it just looked like a big dog to me at the time. But it was a big dog that had stripes on it, that's all I could remember. And okay, so you ran home and you told your mum you saw some big dog-like... I saw a dog, I said, I, we saw a dog, a big dog in the bushes eating something. Yeah. And she said, well, it can't, you couldn't have because there's no dogs here. And I said, but we did, we saw this big dog and it had stripes on it. And it was eating something. Okay. And we ran home and she said, well, you couldn't have really because there's no dogs here. And so she said to my father, you know, the kids think they've seen a dog and they're saying it's got stripes on it, you know. And, he's, and he reckoned it, well, all I can think of is they must have seen a tiger. Oh. Uh, and, he's, and so he talked to some other guys at the mill and they agreed that it must have been a tiger because... There weren't any dogs there except a little one that the man had in a hut. I was almost this close to it actually. So this is about how close you were yeah, to it? I would have been this close to it and that was when I first... The first thing I saw... The time about I five realized, minutes. No other books or pictures to look at. Yeah. Uh, nobody ever told us about tigers or devils or anything like that we saw blackbirds like black jays uh, flying around native hens uh, rabbits wallabies so this thing would look completely alien this to you. looked completely different and very scary okay because i was only nine remember yeah yeah, yeah. And, I, and i have got a vivid memory and it, i've always remembered it what's your initial reaction to this sighting bill i think it's very credible yeah, me too. It's not far after they are supposedly extinct. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not very far at all, really. It's, no. what, 15 years or yep. so? Yep. So there's documented evidence to 36. 
and they're supposedly dated scats to about mid 1950. Okay. So anything post 36, in my mind, anything up to the 50s, real plausible. Very plausible, yes. Uh, not skeptical at all. No, it doesn't uh, ring think, any alarm bells? No, I think the fact that uh, you're looking at a time where they're out in the sticks, they yep. haven't got books, there's no yep. wildlife books, yep. she's not going to see a coat of arms out in the bush, yep. she's not, not being educated in natural fauna of Tasmania. No. Not many people were. Even at the time, they didn't even know what to call the thing. Exactly. Tasmanian wolf, Tasmanian tiger. The thing that rang true for me was that she ran home scared and even the adults had to debate on what this thing could be. They were talking about dogs and then one old timer suggested that maybe it was a tiger. Like, not even the adults were sort of categorically saying thylacine. So that really hit home for me. And the other thing is there were no dogs around no. the area. No. So, start with dogs with stripes, extremely rare, mm -hmm. and there's no dogs in the area. Nope. We're talking Tasmania, it's yep. not so far after the supposedly extinct, I'd say. In I'd an say. area where they are known to have existed. Okay, I'm a very skeptical guy, but I'd say yep. Okay, that one was... to ten. Skeptometer, one <laughs> to I, ten. I'd say at that time, I'd say nine and a half, they're absolutely there. Eight and a half. Okay. Cool.